The year was 1955, a time when Europe was still healing from the scars of World War II. Europe was still rebuilding after the devastation of World War II. Cities were being reconstructed, and a new era of hope and unity was dawning. From the ashes of conflict rose a spirit of unity, and with it a desire to showcase the best in European football. Football became a symbol of this newfound unity, a way for nations to come together in friendly competition. The European Cup was born. This was not just another tournament, it was a beacon of hope and a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. This tournament, initially a knockout competition, brought together the champions of each nation's domestic leagues. It was a melting pot of styles, cultures and football philosophies. It was a test of strength, a battle for continental supremacy. Each match was a clash of titans, a display of skill, strategy and sheer willpower. Little did anyone know this marked the beginning of a legend. The European Cup would go on to become the most coveted prize in club football. Real Madrid, a club destined for greatness, dominated the early years. Their success was not just about winning, it was about setting a standard, creating a legacy. They won the first five editions of the European Cup, establishing themselves as the team to beat. Their dominance was unparalleled and their victories were celebrated across the continent. Their star player, Alfredo Di Stefano, became a symbol of this early dominance. His skill, vision and leadership on the field were unmatched. He was a magician with the ball, a true pioneer of the game. Di Stefano's influence extended beyond the pitch. He inspired a generation of footballers and fans alike. These early years laid the foundation for what would become the most prestigious club competition in world football. The European Cup was more than just a series of matches. It was a celebration of the sport's rich history and bright future. The tournament grew in stature with each passing season. As more teams joined, the competition became fiercer and the matches more thrilling. Teams from across Europe fought tooth and nail for the chance to be crowned champions. The European Cup was a proving ground where only the best could triumph. The allure of European glory was intoxicating. Fans from all corners of the continent were drawn to the drama, the excitement and the sheer spectacle of the competition. The roar of the crowd, the tension in the air, the sheer quality of football on display. It was a spectacle unlike any other. Every match was a story, every goal a moment of magic. The European Cup was more than just a competition. It was a celebration of the beautiful game. It brought joy, passion, and a sense of belonging to millions of fans around the world. In 1992, the European Cup underwent a significant transformation, becoming the UEFA Champions League. This change was not just a rebranding, but a complete overhaul of the competition's structure and format. This rebranding ushered in a new era for the competition, one that promised more excitement, more matches and a broader appeal. The introduction of the group stage was a game-changer. It provided more matches and allowed for a wider range of teams to participate, making the tournament more inclusive and competitive. This change was met with mixed reactions. Some fans were thrilled by the prospect of more football and the chance to see their teams play against a variety of opponents. Traditionalists, however, lamented the loss of the old format, feeling nostalgic for the simpler knockout style that had defined the European Cup for decades. They worried that the new format might dilute the competition's prestige. Despite the initial resistance, the new format was here to stay. The early years of the Champions League saw some unforgettable moments that quickly won over many skeptics. It brought with it a new level of excitement and unpredictability. The group stage meant that every match counted and teams had to be at their best from the very beginning. Teams now had to navigate a gruelling group stage before even reaching the knockout rounds. This added a layer of strategy and endurance to the competition as teams had to balance their efforts across multiple matches. This made for a more competitive tournament with upsets becoming more commonplace. Underdog teams had the chance to shine, creating some of the most memorable moments in football history. The Champions League was quickly becoming a global phenomenon. Media coverage expanded and matches were broadcast to millions of viewers around the world. The increased revenue generated by the new format allowed for greater prize money and attracted sponsors from around the world. This financial boost helped clubs invest in better players and facilities, raising the overall standard of the competition. 
The Champions League was no longer just a European affair, it was a global spectacle. Fans from all continents tuned in to watch the drama unfold, making it a truly international event. Fans from all corners of the globe tuned in to watch the best players and teams battle it out for the most coveted trophy in club football. The Champions League had transcended its origins, becoming a symbol of football excellence and a celebration of the sport's universal appeal. The Champions League has witnessed the rise and fall of numerous legendary teams. Each era has brought forth a new set of heroes and unforgettable moments that have etched themselves into the annals of football history. Real Madrid, with their unmatched pedigree, continued to be a force to be reckoned with. Their dominance in the competition is unparalleled, and their legacy is built on a foundation of excellence and consistency. They won the Champions League title in 1998, 2000 and 2002, reaffirming their status as the kings of Europe. These victories were not just about the trophies, but also about the style and flair with which they played the game. Their Galactico era, featuring superstars like Zinedine Zidane, Luis Figo and Ronaldo Nazario, captivated audiences worldwide. The sheer talent and charisma of these players brought a new level of excitement to the competition. AC Milan, under the guidance of Arrigo Sacchi and later Fabio Capello, dominated the late 1980s and early 1990s. Their tactical innovations and disciplined approach set new standards in European football. With a formidable team boasting the likes of Marco van Basten, Ruud Gullit and Frank Rijkaard, they played a brand of attacking football that was a joy to behold. Their fluid movements and precise passing left opponents in awe and fans in ecstasy. Their back-to-back -back European Cup triumphs in 1989 and 1990 cemented their place in football history. These victories were a testament to their teamwork, strategy and the sheer brilliance of their players. Manchester United's treble winning season in 1999, under the leadership of Sir Alex Ferguson, was a testament to their resilience and never say die spirit. This remarkable achievement showcased their ability to perform under pressure and their unwavering determination. Their dramatic comeback victory against Bayern Munich in the final, scoring twice in stoppage time, remains one of the most iconic moments in Champions League history. This match epitomized the unpredictability and drama that the competition is known for. These teams, with their unique styles and unforgettable players, have left an indelible mark on the competition. Their legacies continue to inspire future generations of footballers and fans alike, reminding us of the magic and passion that the Champions League brings to the world of football. The Champions League has been graced by some of the greatest footballers to ever play the game. Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, two titans of the modern era, have consistently lit up the competition with their breathtaking skills and goal-scoring exploits. Messi, with his mesmerising dribbling and clinical finishing, has led Barcelona to numerous Champions League titles. Ronaldo, a physical specimen with unmatched determination, has tasted Champions League glory with both Manchester United and Real Madrid. His aerial prowess, powerful shots and relentless pursuit of goals have made him a nightmare for defenders across Europe. These two legends have redefined what it means to be a complete footballer, inspiring a generation of young players. But it's not just about the goal scorers. The Champions League has also been a stage for midfield maestros like Xavi Hernandez and Andres Iniesta, defensive stalwarts like Paolo Maldini and Franco Baresi and goalkeeping giants like Gianluigi Buffon and Ike Casillas. These players, with their unique talents and contributions, have shaped the Champions League into the spectacle it is today.